Hi everyone, I'm here to introduce our new laser cut home build jig. It's designed for our flax kit, so it's slightly different to our other carbon kit, and I'm going to talk you through how you assemble it. First step, I've got all the parts laid out, so I'm going to go through each one at a time and explain them in more detail. So I'm just going to remove them for now. I've got my board, or you could use a table, whichever you prefer. We're in a workshop here, so obviously I've got a rough board. And I'm just going to lay out the plan, like so. And this could be a city road frame, whatever, you, whatever you're using, the jig is going to be the same regardless of the kit. So I'm going to lay that out. And using some masking tape, I'm going to secure that to your tabletop, um, and that's really useful to stop any movement when you're building. So I'm going to lay that down here and just firmly secure that in place. So once the drawing's all firmly locked in place, you can start to assemble the jig. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the head tube, which is this part here. And the parts you're gonna need is this one. You're gonna need this one with the larger circle. This one also with the lar larger circle. And then finally, two of the supports. And also your head tube is useful to have at this stage. So these are all the parts. You don't need any tools, nothing. It's all assembled by hand. Um, you look at the size of the head tube, which is 140, and it's gonna be the second one in. So I'm gonna start by popping this into here, like so. And I'm gonna use the support piece here and here to assemble that. So that's in. Again with the same support piece and fit that in. And then final step is just to slide that head tube in place. And then that's going to line up here on the board. Okay. Next step is the bottom bracket, which is this area here. So we're going to need the following parts. and also your bottom bracket. So it's our knolled, specially designed one. Um, so the first step is to position these here and here. So this one's gonna go on first, like so. Then this one will slide over. And then we've got our lock ring here, which will slide down and hold all that assembly together. The final thing is to fit the bottom bracket where you've got this little mark here, this is gonna be the drive side. So we're gonna position this at the bottom and that will slide in. And then finally, we've got our lock ring here that will fit in and lock all that together. And then the base will slide into place and that will be positioned here. The next one we're gonna do is our head tube holder. So we're gonna need this part, this part and this part. Okay, and that's going to fit here. Again, we've got the same support structure there, and then that will fit in here, and then that gets positioned there. Okay, so that's the head tube done, the seat tube, and the bottom bracket. The next step is the dropout holder, which is this area here, and we're going to need the following items. You need your dropouts and all the fixings that go with those. And we're also going to need the Allen key, and then we're going to bring in the elements of the jig. Okay. So, this is our base plate, so that's going to go there. And these pieces here are going to join together. And that's just to add additional durability, so it just gives a lot more strength around a key area of the frame. So those are going to slide into here together. So just with your hands. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is to take these dropout holders and just position them 
in the correct position. So you can see there, that's the correct position for the frame. And we're going to fit each of these to these fittings, and then these are going to slide on like so. So if we look here, look here, slide on like so. And then it's a little bit easier if you fit the dropouts first. So we're going to fit this, and this is going to go, this is our drive side, and this is our non-drive, so it's got the disc mounts. So that's the big difference. And so this is going to fit underneath here, like so. And then we take our fixings and just lock this in place. And you'll find with our modular dropouts, once you've built the frame, you can then fit all the different attachments. But what we've got is we've got a two point of fixing. So it allows for a lot more precise alignment in our frame. Our old jig only had one and we found that you do sometimes have issues with frame alignment. And by having two points of fixings, you end up with a much, much more precise build and the margins for error are a lot, lot lower, which is really nice. So assemble that here and just tighten that up. And make sure that's nice and tight so it aligns nicely onto the MDF. And then this is going to slide in here. So that's one. And then I'm going to take the other one. Again, it's going to go on the outer surface. So we're going to take the same fittings. And fit this in here. Same here. And then this will slide in. And that will lock perfectly. You've got a centre mark here, which is going to help you align it with the centre. And then you can also see the dropout alignment here. What you'll find is that the space between here is 135, so that's perfectly set up for when you put the inserts into the frame. This little mark here is the centre line, so that's the centre of the frame, so it's something you can use to measure all of your build against. So if you put the chain stays in, you can see the centre. So we've got our head tube, seat stays, bottom bracket holder, and drop out holder, so that's all secure. If you're working and you want a bit more robustness out of the jig, we've put these little screw marks in. So if you want to put any self tappers in, you can just secure them in. Or if you want to use double sided tape, you can also use that as well. So that is our laser cut precision jig. And that's all about how to assemble. So thanks for joining us. And do tune into other tutorials for more help. Thanks.